Well, I was still out on the road. Near some huge lake. Stuck in the mountains. Had about 26 something days. Before I got to that ship. And the sun was setting. It's time to stop for the night. Using that bedroll. One of my alpaca gave birth that night. But we kept right on moving. Days were passing. I decided I was going to have to stop. Make a temporary spot. Gather up a ton of food again. I only had about 8 days left. Wasn't going to make it another 20 something days. So. I was going to scout out some spots. When I had about 4 days left. As I was approaching. I encountered a caravan. Turns out. They had a whole mess of pemmican and I had a whole mess of money. I sold them one of them alpaca, one that was just born. Bought all the pemmican they had. And I decided to keep on moving. Now I had about 25 days of food. And I was about 20 days away from my destination. Not sure how I was figuring it. Didn't seem as good as I thought it was. Perhaps I'd misjudged. Either way, I got back on the road. So I had about eight days of food. Had some berries. Whole slew of animals chasing after me here. And I decided to stop. Not terribly past where I'd been before. When I met that caravan. And I made my way on over there. Scouted out a nice mountain spot. Hopefully I can make something safe. Nobody would be able to sneak up and kill me. Take everything I had. Word was out that I had a lot of money. So I stopped. It was getting near the end of winter. There was still some snow on the ground. But there were animals about and the plants were coming back to life. I was going to have to get all my stuff covered before too long. Man did I have a mess of it. Not to mention a mess of animals. There was a couple decent spots around. For the minute, I was just going to have to get something fast to get all my goods covered. About that time, I started chopping trees. That was going to be the goal for a bit. Until I had enough, build some kind of structure, get my stuff roofed over. Made a bit of a plan. Turns out, there's too much soft soil around. Couldn't really see it due to all the snow that was about. So that plan wasn't going to work right away. I was going to have to try something else. But eventually, enough poking around, I found a spot. Built a little storage shed. Covered place to sleep. I was going to do it out of wood, which I knew wasn't the best play, but this is going to be temporary. I'd find something better before I started doing too much here. My immediate goal was get all my stuff protected though. Perhaps I shouldn't have bought all that wood, but at the time I didn't know I was going to have to stop. So I worked on building walls, planning out a little structure. I was getting sleepy. The animals were all passed out. I planned a spot to put all my junk. Certainly didn't want my robots getting messed up. Although in the boxes they seemed to be pretty well protected. I was going to get my horseshoe pin set up lickety split. All the rest of my junk hauled in. And for now, sleeping in a bedroll. I had this chem reactor thing. I didn't even really need it or want it. it. Seemed like nobody was interested in buying it off me. Which is unfortunate. But for the minute, I worked on my walls. Chopping the trees down that were in my way. Had some pemmican. That was going to be important business. I also had a tea. 
I just started carrying stuff around. Before deciding I better fix up these walls. Get this stuff roofed over sooner rather than later. After another tea, I grabbed as much stuff as I could carry, got it set up, and I was going to have to focus on that. I thought maybe I should put on my fancy helmet, decided against that. Didn't make sense to get that thing any more worn out before I really needed it. By then a beer was definitely in order. Then I set to building roofs, the muffalos were getting it on. Great, I was going to have more muffalo before too long. Uh, I hauled stuff, set up my bed. Some fella came crashing out of the sky. I was feeling a pinch though. Like I had to get stuff done. Yeah, maybe he'd get up and wander off on his own. And maybe he'd pass there. Wasn't my business. I had a beer to console myself for my meanness kept on hauling stuff because that was the task at hand and I got things inside slowly but surely getting them protected one thing was obvious I had too much silver turns out you can't eat silver I was gonna have to do something about that while hauling stuff I'm getting nearly done this low buzzing started in my ears which really drove me nuts I had some berries, I was just going to have to set them outside, left over from a forage and on the road. I had the animals to get to them, and there weren't many. Finally I got everything moved, and I built myself a table and a little chair to sit on. And I was going to have to chop a bunch of trees, deal with a bunch of animals. They'd all been neglected for a while. After that I wandered about planned another little area. Turns out that first space got filled up real quick with all my junk, but I was off to bed by then. That fella Stewart was still over there, struggling to survive. I slept tidy though, and when I woke up, decided to chill out, check out my new space. It certainly wasn't pretty by any means. Felt like I'd left the lap of luxury and come to this dump. Yeah, that's alright. So I built a second room, chopped down the trees that were in the way, got it all dealt with. Said I was going to move my bed, my chair, my table in there. Get myself somewhere nice, sir. Certainly nothing like the last place I had, but that's alright. I was going to need some steel if I was going to get some power going. Be able to do anything around here. So I found a big chunk nearby, started mining that out. The psychic drone was really great now my mind, making my nerves tick. I tried to focus on my mind and not get too distracted by it, but I was getting pretty crabby. I planned a research bench. I think it'd be nice to figure out how to leverage some of these geothermal vents and get some power. That fella had finally expired. He left some ambrosia. I guess I'd take that off him. He certainly wasn't going to need it anymore. I got done with the steel mining for the day. Grabbed as much of it as I could and dragged it over. And decided I better go grab that ambrosia before some animal got a hold of it. I didn't like the looks of that dead fella. Many a time here that could have easily been me. But I ate a piece of ambrosia and that brought me up a little bit. I got nuzzled by Hamlet while shearing off a muffalo's fur. So that was pretty nice. Such a good boy that dog is. There were some mushrooms about. They weren't ready to be eaten. I did some more mining. And that buzzing in my ears stopped. I started feeling better immediately. I decided to get off to bed for a good night's sleep. And the animals decided the same thing. When I woke, I had some pemmican. Some hostile named Hippo came out of the sky. I certainly wasn't going to help her out if I hadn't helped that neutral fella out. Last thing I need is to be cursed out. 
I built a light, planned a generator. I had plenty of wood around here, so a wood fire generator wouldn't be the worst play. Also decided I was going to get my robots set up, so I didn't have to worry about cleaning, didn't have to worry about hauling so much. I built the generator. I built myself a heater as well. Temperatures are still pretty stinking cold. So that was a good play. There's a bunch of walls around. Old structures. Nobody seemed to use anymore. So I was going to rip all them down. My robots got fired up. They went right to work. Which is much appreciated. Hamlet was helping out too. Running around carrying stuff in his mouth. Best dog on the planet, man, I swear. So I pulled down walls. Planned on ripping up a bunch of floors, but for the minute, I was going to focus on these walls. There's plenty of them. Someone was being chased by a whole slew of people. I didn't have any defenses, any way to deal with them. So I had to say, kick rock, sucker. And I had to stay focused, ripping all these walls down. So I ran about, just working on that. There's one of them giant raccoons in one of them buildings I was ripping down. Freaky thing, man. My stockpile had overflowed. So I had to make a bigger space to put stuff. And after that, I was off to bed. One of them pirates crashed out of the sky. Pretty well wounded. She went by Sparkles. Sparkles is on her own. When I woke up, had a little more pemmican. Food supplies weren't what I'd like them to be, considering I had no way to make more at the minute. And I was working on ripping down a wall. A couple of my animals came down sick. I decided to give them a spot, lay down, feel cozy. Might as well build a little roof over him while I'm at it. So I did that. Ran on back with some blocks. Got those animals treated. Could have done a better job, but it wasn't bad. I finished the roofs over their heads. Then I was back to pulling down these walls. So many of them to do. Had to gather supplies. I fed one of the alpaca that was sick. It got food poisoning. That's what I get for buying a bunch of food off some jerk on the road. I'd rather that alpaca eat it than I did, I guess. So I can't complain too much. If he doesn't get over it, he'll turn into dinner right quick. Given how many of these animals I already have. At some point, I may end up having to start eating them. I was back to ripping down walls and have a little pemmican. And then I decided to chill out, just lay about, staring at the night sky. Another transport pod crashed down. A big fella named Scooter. Seemed like he's probably an alright guy, but once again, I was in no position to be taking on other people here, other mouths to feed, given where I was at. I was off to bed. A pleasant feeling settled over me that night, which is much appreciated. When I awoke, pemmican was on the menu, per usual. I've been feeding pemmican to my critters while they're down and out. Hamlet was eating it too. There was a crazy fight going on between a fox and a raccoon. The fox got the better of him. I ripped down some wall. Decided to run off, but I figured while I was all the way over here, maybe I'd better get some more work done. So I ripped the rest of it down, then I headed on back right past that full fox. I decided I'd better plant some food, if I can get some rice in the ground, despite the chilly weather. I might actually get some before too long, be able to make some proper meals. I was going to need enough pemmican to get to my destination, which I'm sure was over 20 days away. And when I got there, I was going to need some food to survive. 
All these critters needed attention. Muffalo to milk. Then there was time to put the rice in the ground. I didn't get too far before I was off to bed once again. All the critters went to bed as well. And my robots just buzzed around looking for something to do. When I awoke, it was only 3 a.m. I had some pemmican and got right to work on the rice. The sooner it goes in, the sooner I'll have a harvest. The muffalo was actually helping out, clearing plants out for me. I decided to take a little break, toss some horseshoes. Regardless of where I end up, it's nice to do something that feels familiar. So, rice planting it was. It was going to be quite a job, as I planned on planting quite a bit of it. I had occasionally stop, tend them alpaca. That's a job that never seems to end. I wish they'd recover already. I planted, and I ate. Then I planted. It was quite a broad area. And these animals always need attention. Can't get up and walk on their own. I had to give them my dwindling pemmican. If I had a freezer, I might put them out of my misery. But for now, see if we can get the old guy through it. So I got back to working on the rice. Having to chop down all these trees that were in the way. I noticed a bunch of cherries and peaches and stuff nearby. And that was a pleasant thought as I settled down to sleep for the night. There's a bunch of fires blazing around. Lightning coming out of the sky even though it wasn't raining. That was a little troublesome. Considering I didn't have any way to get away from it and all my structures built out of wood. But there wasn't much I could do and keep working on the rice. There was a nice stone ground barrier so hopefully the fire wouldn't spread to where I was at. I finished the first main section before too terribly long. Occasionally I'd have to stop, just lay about, do some cloud watching. Try not to worry about the fire. And when I got up, it was right back to rice planting. It started raining. It's probably fortunate. This rice is going to need a good amount of water if it's going to grow in. I started on the second rice area. The first one was mostly done. With the usual breaks, food, the pleasant feeling I'd had left about that time. These alpaca need some sharing when they finally get up. Or when they don't, as the case may be. Fortunately, I could just leave it all laying around between Hamlet and my robot. They'd get it all hauled in. I guess that's the upside to having all these critters. Get some resources off them. Somebody want to deal with that stuff. After that, I took a walk. Get back to breaking down some walls and stuff that were laying around. And there were still several. It was about 9 p.m. I decided to call it time I got to bed it was 11 and when I woke up it was about 6 a.m. one of those alpaca was still down and out so I fed that guy pulled some milk out of a muffalo followed by another I had made a little plan I was gonna do some building see about making a properly secure area now that I had some materials gathered wouldn't be long, I'm sure, before someone showed up to try to kill me. So I started building walls with a bit of granite that I had. A meteorite fell out of the sky nearby. And just a messy little chunk of slate. So I wasn't going to worry about that too much. The only downside to the building I was doing was pretty far away from where I was staying. Periodically I had to run on back. That ambrosia was weighing on my mind. It just takes you away the misery of this place for a little while. But the focus of the work was building those walls. Fortunately, my robot kept bringing supplies over for me. So that was pretty cool. 
save me a whole mess of time and running back and forth especially considering how fast it is flying around I work for a while head on back ran out of supplies I had to bring some back myself for once after that it was off to bed I was still pretty crabby I was soaking wet Certainly wasn't a nice place to live yet, but it'll get there. An alpaca became pregnant about that time. I was used to the signs of that by now. I shook my head as I was running over to build some wall. Did a little bit of building. Then I had to do some training on Hamlet. And of course, he's such a smart boy, he took to it right away. Man, that dog is the best dog. I can't say that enough. I'm going to have to make sure to take him with me when I get out of here. I worked on walls, planned a little area to build some traps. If it wasn't for those traps, I'd have been dead a long time ago, that's for sure. Between the crazy animals and the crazy people, always trying to kill me. Little pemmican was in order. I'd gone through over half my supply. I was hoping that rice would come up. Before I needed it. I got the final part of my perimeter wall built and I started working on my trap walls. I was probably going to need some more steel at some point which was unfortunate but it was getting there slowly but surely. I finished the trap wall. I was just going to need some doors so I had access to it and another alpaca became pregnant. It's really starting to chat my hide going to be overrun with animals before too long. I got my robot to haul that dead fell out in the water so I wouldn't have to look at him so much. Out of sight, out of mind, I guess, laying on the bottom of the water rotten like that. It was time to get back to work. I planned out some rooms. Sadly, there was a whole ton of plants in the way. After I started working for the day, it occurred to me I'd rather have a garden tea. So I had gone and done that. And then I needed to chill out, so it was back to horseshoes for a bit. While I was tossing horseshoes, a chunk of spacecraft fell out of the sky. That was going to be useful at some point. The more components, the merrier, I suppose. These animals eating up my rice which was a little bit frustrating since I was going to need as much of it as I could get they couldn't really be told not to I had to clear a bunch of trees so I could build my rooms this dirty old rat was running around eating my rice along with the bunny I was thinking I was going to have to hunt them boys as I was cutting down the last couple trees I was just swarming with animals man Nothing but a hassle if you ask me. I finished all the tree chopping. Milked a couple muffalo. I had an alpaca thinking about going feral on me. So while I was training him, a whole bunch of wart fell out of the sky. Wart's good, because it means beer. I just have to get some fermenting barrels together at some point. I finished my doors by then. I was back to building some rooms. First steps get some walls up. I worked on that for a little while. And I was back to bed. About 10 p.m. When I woke it was 4 a.m. Had a little bit of food. Once again. Work never ends around here. Think I'd be an expert at planning this stuff out and making it by now. I worked on walls. Planned a little extension to my trap walls. The way things are going. A couple more certainly wouldn't hurt. And I debated it. And decided it should be kept. I was still working on my main room section. There was walls. Doors that needed to be built. I was running out to get some steel. One of them exploding rat was hanging out near it. Fortunately, he didn't think much of me. Just left me alone. I finished the door. 
which was the end of my structure, it was time to celebrate with a little garden coffee. There were still some roofs to put up, get all this crap hauled, but with Hamlet and my robot, that should work out alright. Only stuff I'd have to carry is stuff that was too heavy for them. I should invent some kind of cart where I could take all this stuff over there at once. That wouldn't be a bad play. I was going to need steel. That was for sure. All of a sudden a cold snap struck though. I was getting worried about my plants. I decided to get them hauling help. Set up the haul. Made note to them. Didn't need these zones anymore as I was sitting down. Had myself a little bit of ambrosia that someone had left. At least I put that to good use. I was worried about the plants. So I was going to have to get to chopping them. See what rice I could save from the cold snap. I'm sure the critters will have a field day on it. Turns out that rice was ready. Didn't take long, and that's fantastic. It was going to take me quite a while to get through the harvesting of it. About that time a muffalo was pregnant. Man, these animals do nothing but breed like rabbits. I decided I was going to take some wake up at that point so I could stay focused getting this rice harvest finished. That was going to be important stuff. Of course, the animals ever need attention as well. They were headed off to bed and I was wide awake. I decided if I was going to get all my stuff hauled over, I'd better get a roof up. Rice be damned. Didn't need everything getting junky on me, which it certainly would. And the roofs would be fast. So I built the roof. I got a couple traps in place. Then I was going to focus on the rice. It was already dying due to how cold it had gotten. And that was a little frustrating considering I'd gone through the trouble to plant it all. So that's what I focused on. There's going to be a whole mess of it here if I could just get it all done in time. Turns out though, I did a pretty decent job of that. That wake up helped. Makes a guy feel kind of weird. I even got peaches, cherries, berries while I was at it. More food the merrier. Now there was a ton of it laying around. Should keep for a good little while. And that made me feel nice. While well, pulling rice out of the ground, some squirrels running around nearby chittering. I decided to bugger off, have a little pemmican. Of which I was just about out of now. And I finished pulling the rice, found some more peaches. Then I found some more rice that I'd forgotten. Decided to start getting this rice hauled. There's so darn much of it. Fortunately, I got big hands, and I can carry a mountain of rice at a time, it turns out. Those alpaca were already over there, eating my rice and little jerks. I was going to have to keep the animals out of there, except for Hamlet. If he wants a little, that's alright. I don't mind sharing with a good buddy like him. After that, back to bed once again. Cold snap was still on. I was feeling pretty good about what it made and where it was headed. There was still going to be a fair amount of work to do, and I wanted to get that research done. My focus here is going to be food and research. For the minute, all was peaceful. Couldn't really complain too much. It's one of them creepy buildings to the south. I was going to leave that alone for now. Another day passing by.